Number 1 North Carolina survives Arkansas's gigantic upset bid to reach Sweet 16. With 3 minutes and 47 seconds standing between number 1 seed North Carolina and a rather inexplicable early exit in this NCAA tournament, Roy Williams gathered his team in the huddle. He told his players they hadn't been in a game like this a gut check game, down 3, then 5, with 3 minutes to play all season. More significant, they hadn't won a game like this. I told our guys, that would be great for us, Williams said. We've got to be tough. It's got to be with our brain and our heart both. We've got to get stops and we've got to get shots. And so they did. North Carolina scored on six of its final seven possessions and stifled an upset-minded Arkansas team, finishing the game on a 12-0 win and knocking out the eighth-seeded Razorbacks, 72-65, to advance to the Sweet 16. The Tar Heels will face number four seed Butler this weekend in Memphis. We haven't won a game like that all year, junior forward Theo Pinson said. Tonight, what a perfect time to win one. Williams said after the game that he felt fortunate to win, North Carolina players said it felt like the Razorbacks got every 50-50 ball, and that every wild, shot clock winding down shot over a good defender fell for them, too. That type of luck, as Williams termed it, disappeared for Arkansas in the final three minutes of the game, as the Tar Heels made some of their own. A Joel Berry drive a controversial play that included a lot of contact and what Arkansas coach Mike Anderson viewed as a charge or a travel and off-kilter shot attempt off the glass led to a Kennedy Meeks tip-in with 44 seconds left that sealed the game for the Tar Heels. Joel showed a great deal of savvy for trying to get the ball to the goal, because he knew me and Isaiah, Hicks, would be on the offensive glass, I just so happened to be in the right position, Meeks said. Coach always tells us, when the shot goes up to try to get in front of the defender and you'll have an easier rebound. So that's what I did and the ball just fell in my hands. Said Barry, it was a horrible shot on my part, but I just tried my best to get it up on the backboard. It just so happened Kennedy was there to make up for it, so I've got to thank him for that. It was the most important basket of a game that, had the result gone the other way, would have been one of the most disappointing losses in North Carolina history and a shocker for a team that said it has used last year's national championship game loss to motivate it throughout this postseason, to get back there and win this time. So, though it was not pretty by any means, the critical piece here is that the Tar Heels won the game to stay alive in this NCAA tournament despite shooting 38.1% from the field for the game and turning the ball over 17 times. I love the way they competed and this feels awfully nice right now, Williams said. I don't mind saying I feel a little lucky. Every now and then I knock in a long putt, too. Williams said he learned about his team over those final 3 minutes and 47 seconds Sunday night, and he obviously liked what he saw it gives you confidence, first, Williams said. It also teaches you to play every single possession. I told them, don't look at the score just play every possession. Let's get the best shot we can get. Let's get a stop on the defensive end and let's do it again. You gain so much from that because the more you focus, the more you concentrate, the harder you play, good things are going to happen to you. We got good shots except for that one possession. And we work on tips every other practice. We've done it 46 times this year because we've had 92 practices. Kennedy could have caught it with both hands. It would have made me feel a heck of a lot better if he hadn't just tipped it with his left hand but it went in. Williams smiled. Isn't life great when you win?